holy detonation to your cells. Blasphemy! The sacred glow belongs to the nucleus alone! The glow belongs to everyone! The angel has spoken! You will all be cast out to die in the wasteland with the rest of the unworthy! Stop this! There's no need for violence! Initiating system check. Power. Battery power full detected. System failure may occur. Greeting. How may I be assistance? I am prone trapped to perform emergency repairs and removing medical assistance to injured personnel. Please wave while I confirm your identity with a your blood based personnel. No record found matching your scan. Request delete. Substitution in the Uber. Hmm. Error. Memory module not detected. Restarting in safe mode. Start completing. Building. Creeping. How may I be of assistance? Please wait while I confirm your identity with a no record found matching your scan. Request delete. Substitution in the Uber.
kill me. Rangers. Oh, I'm glad you made it. For a moment there, I thought you would be too late. What a battle. Let me introduce you to my new acquaintance, brother, er, Carbuncle of the Primordialists, who came out with his friends to welcome me when I hailed Cheyenne Mountain over the radio. Hey, thanks for defending us. No way we'd have survived without your help. I wish I could welcome you to our home, but... The bastard Nucleus finally made their move. And it looks like we're gonna have to fight to get back in. Huh. A talking drool. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't suppose you'd be willing to help us with that? Oh, we can offer you food and supplies. <clears throat> it will also help us get closer to our goal. Uh, yes. I know you explained it to me once on our way here, Carbuncle. But all this violence has blown it clear out of my head. Would you mind going over it again? Sure. Okay. So I'm Brother Carbuncle. And my friends and I are primordialists. The ones we fought are nucleists. And it sucks that we're fighting at all. Those people used to be my friends. See, in the beginning was the Holy Detonation, and us <coughs> worshippers were called Primordialists. We believe the Detonation's sacred glow will make us all <coughs> one, and we want to share it with the whole world. But one of us, Deuterium, started saying the world wasn't worthy of the glow, 
And we should keep it to ourselves. We called that heresy. So he went off and started a cult, the Nucleus, and called himself an abbot. Since then, the peaceful paradise that Cheyenne Mountain used to be has become a hellhole. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, I am. I'm just devolved. Gloriously devolved, Father Bezor says. A mutation makes us all differently, and, and I went down the proto-drool path. Still got my voice, though. Kinda. But some folks lose that first. It all depends. Eventually, I'll just be a big blob of <laughs> protoplasm. It'll be great. Fascinating. That was Deuterium picking his moment. Up till now, there's been no fighting between the two sides, but I, I guess he decided it was time. He knew just when to strike, <laughs> bastard. Must have heard our call to Theo here, saying we'd come out to welcome him. Because when we got back, the Nucleus were waiting for us. My dear friend, I am so sorry if my call caused all this. How terrible. It's not your fault, Theo. But we gotta hurry back inside. They're attacking our camp in there. I heard our brothers and sisters calling for us on the walkie. That damn Deuterium's trying to wipe us out once and for all. Oh, that's a tumor colony. They form all over the place in Cheyenne Mountain. Kind of hard to clear them once they gather like that. Sister Melanoma could tell you more about them once we get inside. If we get inside. Yeah. Uh, some mutations are more useful than others, right? You get enough radiation in you, and it can come back out in all kinds of crazy ways. For them, it keeps them alive for a little while after they buy the farm. Oh, great.
Praise the great glow. Thank you, friends. Here's the passcode for the airlock. You enter it into the terminal next to it. Just be prepared for more fighting. Well done, friends. You're one step closer. Here's the inner door has been sealed. Yeah, it's sealed automatically if a security lockdown is triggered. The nucleus must have done it to keep us out. Uh, I think there might be a way in the access control room over there. Maybe. Sorry. Good luck. Please, Rangers. More diplomacy. This is a restricted area. Unauthorized entry will be met with lethal force. It appears they've activated security measures. Yeah, those things are security beacons. You're gonna need to shut them off or they'll keep calling more robot reinforcements. Those switches over there will do it. All you gotta do is get to them. They're part of Cheyenne's old security system. They detect and identify threats, and summon robots to deal with them. Which is great if you're controlling them. Not so good for us. Yeah, good luck.
Persevere, Rangers!
countdown override progress. Zero of four override switches engaged.
job shutting down the security alert, friends. Well done. Yes, good job. Let's go in. <sighs> Something's wrong. Why are the doors closed? I hear fighting in the camp. We've got to get in there. to get in there.
Why are the doors closed? Thanks again for saving us, Rangers. Friends, saviors, over here! <laughs> oh, is it trying to talk? Do not be alarmed. The blessed radiation has devolved our beloved Proteus's speech beyond the ability of the uninitiated to understand. But I can translate. I am Sister Paula, speaker for the Proteus. Sorry, Proteus. That is, I'm speaker until the true speaker, Father Bezor, returns to us. If he does. The Proteus thanks you for your timely intervention. Your arrival has spared us all much unnecessary violence. What would you ask of them? <laughs> the Proteus says they are the devolved protoplasm of many primordialists, coalesced into a single unified mass. They are them. They are also the salvation of humanity, and the end of all conflict. As when all of us are one, there will be no other left to hate. The Proteus says they were created when the Holy Detonation shined its divine light upon its faithful servants. And with each follower who devolves and joins them, they grow larger and wiser and more complete. For that, they are grateful to the Holy Detonation, which is the beginning of us and the ending of us, the Alpha and the Omega, forever and ever. Amen. The Proteus says that all you must do is look behind them. Our god, the Holy Detonation, resides within its blessed chamber, bathing us in the light of creation and evolution. It's like a miniature sun. It unfolds us in the warm embrace of its glow, which brings oneness, peace, and the salvation of the whole cursed world. Father Bezor is, was, the true speaker for the Proteus, and their second in command. He both interpreted and carried out the Proteus's wishes. I am only his stand in. Oh, 
The Proteus believes the Nucleus have captured him and are holding him in a cell in the lower levels. They fear they are performing experiments on him. Others among us fear he is already dead. <coughs> I'm sorry, Proteus, but it is a possibility we have to consider. The Proteus says Abbot Deuterium is obsessed with manipulating the process of mutation. They fear Bezor will be mutated in ways he does not wish. The Proteus says they pray for his safe return. But let us get back to the matter at hand. And they were nucleists, like the ones you fought outside. Deuterium, their leader, wanted to kill the Proteus. Thanks to you, they fled instead. But you've only postponed the inevitable. They will try again. You see, to ensure its safety, entering the Chamber of the Holy Detonation requires two codes. The Proteus holds one, Deuterium the other. Thus, in the weeks since the Nucleus split from us, neither side has been able to worship in its... We have tried to convince Deuterium to rejoin us so we may all worship together, but he has refused. Instead, he wants to take the Proteus's code so only Nucleus may worship. This is... intolerable. It is tattooed on one of their inner members, meaning Deuterium would have to kill them to get it. And if we want Deuterium's code, well, that would be difficult, as he's locked himself in the power storage facility. Not only is there no getting down there, the facility is where the Nucleus perform their rituals, passing the holy energy of the batteries through their bodies. They would be at their most powerful there. But we must get in. For if we can't extricate Deuterium and get the code, we may never worship before the Holy Detonation again. This could be the way to get Theo what he wanted. Ah, oh, very true, Proteus. The Proteus says there may be one way to reach him. Deuterium's girlfriend, the Angel Iridium, was so frightened by your entry, she ran the wrong way. She could be a bargaining chip dangerous one. She is hiding in the cooling chamber over there, but in her distress, she is emitting deadly levels of radiation. It would be impossible to get near her, even for those such as ourselves who thrive on the glow. The Proteus says the Nucleists believe we're degenerates, unworthy of the holy detonation. Even though we've served it faithfully for years, they want its power only for themselves. They shall not have it. The difference is that we want to share the Holy Detonation with everyone, while Deuterium and his Nucleists want to keep it only for the worthy. In other words, themselves. But we are starting to believe they no longer wish to abandon themselves to unity. They are afraid to give up their individuality and become one with the Proteus. They want to be angels instead. Gods when we already have a god. The Proteus says they need to give up their prideful ways and return to the true path of devolution, dissolution, and oneness. Deuterium was the speaker for the Proteus before he left the true path and refused to become one with the rest of us. Now he leads the Nucleists and speaks for Iridium. Oh. 
The truly blessed become hard for the uninitiated to understand, so someone with holy insight must translate for them. Thank you, Proteus. I live only to serve you. The Nucleists call her an Ascended, a Radiation Angel. But she is only a human who has mutated to store and release radiation. I suppose one could call her the Nucleus version of the Proteus, but of course, without the Proteus's wisdom. Oddly, Abbot Deuterium is completely in love with her. Indeed, and not in the way we love the Proteus or the Great Glow. His is a romantic love. He wants to become a Radiation Angel too, so he can be with her. Very true, Proteus. The Proteus says Deuterium would have to be an angel to be with her. Otherwise, her embrace would burn him up like old paper. <laughs> Only the Great Glow knows when or if a person will become blessed, or what form they'll take. We Primordialists are all changed, but we are not angels. Instead, we're on our way to becoming like the Proteus. Deuterium and his Nucleists think we're ugly because of that. They think the only acceptable transformation is to become a Radiation Angel. <laughs> it would be just as if, when he changed, Deuterium became like us. It would destroy him. <laughs> Not in the least. We are beautiful because we are blessed. Every lump is a gift, every growth a badge of belonging. Proof that we are flowing down the great river of mutation to oneness and enlightenment. We are more than beautiful. We are magnificent. Proteus says the Holy Detonation is a gift to all mankind. If you can convince Deuterium to return and help us open its chamber, or find some other way of getting his code, they will happily share its power with the whole world. Despite everything, the Proteus does not wish Deuterium harm. That said, we cannot tolerate anyone standing in the way of our ability to worship in the Holy Chamber. Do what you can, but if that fails, do what you must. The Proteus suggests you use the Angel Iridium as leverage to reach Deuterium. Deuterium would do anything to get his beloved back, even open the door that protects him. If you have her, he will be forced to negotiate, and she awaits you not 20 yards from us in the cooling pools. Though, as we said earlier, she is at the moment dangerously radioactive. The Proteus says you should speak to Brother Goiter, our best engineer, about this. Hopefully, he'll have some idea how to transport Iridium safely. When you can, bring her to the power storage facility elevator and use its intercom to tell Deuterium you have her. Be sure to open it for her. When he does, you will ride down with her and then deal with him. <laughs> the Proteus says good luck. <laughs> 